Hello, my name is Randy Dobson. I'm an instructor here in the Houston, Texas area. And this video will be covering the ellipse command in AutoCAD. Uh, that's right up here. Um, and like Circle, if you haven't watched Circle, you probably have. You've got these different options or different ways to input information depending on which one you have. This goes back to that, that question that uh, even before you look at an assignment, if I told you or I ask you, okay, in this drawing you're going to use the circle command, which one of these options are you going to use? Okay, and your answer should be, I will use whichever one I have the information for. Okay, I might have the radius, the diameter, two, three points. I might be dealing with tangent. And the same thing goes for... Um, uh, ellipse, it has end, end axis, which is like a diameter, uh, and center, where it goes from the center of the ellipse out. Now understand that a uh, an ellipse is not a circle. You cannot draw a circle, even though I can try to make something look like it. You have to understand that you've got a radius right here. Uh, let me just draw an arrow if I can here. Let me make this a little bit smaller. So I've got, excuse me, I'm trying to type too fast. I've got these two radiuses that are the same. And then I've got these two radiuses that are the same. I had a student a couple of years ago make a comment I'd never heard before, and I really liked it. And I asked, I said, you know, what is an ellipse? And she said a rounded rectangle, which in reality it really is because, as you know, these two sides are equal and these two sides are equal. So a rounded rectangle. I thought that was a that was a cool answer. Never heard anybody put it that way. So a circle, which we all know is just one radius, an ellipse has two radiuses. Here's the center of it. You've got this radius going this way. And then you've got one going this way. So you've got two radiuses. Uh, and AutoCAD allows you, depending on what you have in the information, uh, uh, these right here, I believe, are 10 long. Yeah, 10. So uh, if, if somebody was to say, well, I've got an ellipse that has a, that, that axis has a five foot radius, I could do, okay, I'm going to go to the midpoint of this line, and then I can just type in five, see? And then let's say this top one is one. Okay, so there is my axis. Or I could say that uh, I've got the end. So I'm going to type from this end. And I know it's 10 across. So I'm going to type in 10 and then go up one. Same circle. Okay, just like if I start a circle that has a radius of 2. And then I start the one that has a diameter of four, they're the same size, okay? Because it's the same piece of information, tomato, tomato. Um, so dealing with an ellipse is just like with a circle, knowing which one you want to use. Now the third option that uh, ellipse gives you is where you can do a partial ellipse. And here I'm going to pick the, I'm using my O snaps, so I'm going to pick the end of this, I'm going to go over 10, and then I'm going to go up 1. But see, now it's asking me where do I want to start my angle. I can actually say I want to start it at the end of this line, and look what it does. It takes this away. So I could go to the end of here, and now I've drawn it exactly halfway. Okay. You'll find there's other commands you can use to do this. But uh, until you master those or get to those, uh, which is which one I'm talking about is trim, uh, this one allows you to, uh, I'm going to do it again here. I'm just going to click out here. You have to create your ellipse, give it this, this distance, 
this distance now it wants to know you know if I just wanted to say take off a little piece of it down here I could click right here it's kind of like the break command uh, and just click there and there I've got a partial uh, ellipse um, again it's it's very very similar to the the circ the uh, circle because you have to know which information or what information you have on which way you're going to use it um, and you know whether you're going to give it a diameter across this way or you're going to give it a radius across going for this first one but remembering that there are uh, two pieces of information a circle requires one radius or one diameter here you can put in this diameter but this way you always have to put in a radius let me make that clear one more time I'm going to go axis end I'm going to go here's my diameter from this end to this end but at this point you have to put in a radius okay it doesn't even right down here it doesn't even say specify radius it says what is the other distance so that would be this one right here uh, to set that distance let's say of two and then the ellipse is done uh, nice little uh, nice little command uh, uh, not too difficult uh, but uh, practice with it and I'm sure you'll be an expert with it in no time and that concludes my video on ellipse thank you